Hey guys, Elizabeth Quinn here again with Elizabeth Scenes and Scents and welcome back to my channel. Please don't forget to check out my website, which is waftingwonderfulwax.sensi.us, where I am Liz Quinn, your certified Scentsy consultant. And today I have for you a video that is actually the brainchild of uh, Hannah. Hannah Blazon over at That Scented Chick, and she and I have been talking a little bit about favorite warmers, and she's going to be getting her video out. I'm not sure exactly when, but I'm really looking forward to that because this was her idea. There is a difference between warmers that perform well, which is an important video, and I have done that, and warmers that just have a soft spot in your heart, which is what this video is about. These are my personal favorite warmers, and I've tried to kind of go generally according to the seasons and just pick a couple from each, both full size and mini warmers, that I just really love. And I did cut out Christmas because I don't want to spoil the nostalgia of doing that particular video. I will do that during the holiday season, but I have spring, summer, fall, and winter here, and I have just warmers that whenever I use them, they make me happy. So let's get started with one for spring. So I'm just going to be plugging these guys in one at a time and showing them to you and kind of, if I can remember, tell you when I got them and why I just really enjoy using them. So my first one, which is probably one of my favorites for spring, is the Kindness Warmer. So this is Be Kind and it would be good for summer, it would be good for spring, but I just got it recently and I have absolutely fallen in love with it. I love the white warmers. And if you watch my channel, I do not have the alabaster on the table because I've talked about it so much. That is my favorite warmer when it comes to simplicity, elegant design, really good performance, and a good price because it, it is a $30 warmer. But I have talked about it so much and many of you have bought it or are considering it that I didn't put it in here, but I wanted to do an honorable mention. But back to my Be Kind, the kindness warmer here. This one is 40 and it's just that little bit fancier and it is just so nice. This one is an excellent performer. Not all the ones I'm gonna show you today are. And it has a nice dish. And this one I believe is a 25 watt. Just, you know, usually I do plain bulbs. I do have colored bulbs. I put them in, I take them out, and I'm like, why did I buy them? Because I just love the classic soft glow of a bisque warmer, and this is just one that I, I absolutely love. So I've had it for about two months, maybe three, and it will probably be in my top 20. I have a lot of warmers. So the next one is a very old warmer that is retired. It's a terrible performer. I use it for spring, summer, and fall, but if I was going to categorize it, I think it would either be best spring or fall, so I put it in with the spring warmers, because that's a category I don't have a lot specifically of. So let me plug this one in. And this one, I think it's been retired for at least four years. And that is an element warmer that we call Peace and Prosperity. But this is a beauty. I just wish it performed better. It has a dish that's kind of, it's kind of cranky. It's glued down, oh gosh. Mm, yes, okay, this guy has definitely probably been knocked by the dogs. All right, so it has this little separate dish that goes into the element and then you can leave it open like this, which I sometimes do, and you sort of prop this on the side, or you can put this on the top and then there's just a little bit, a little bit, I emphasize, of scent that comes out, but it's so beautiful. And I had looked at this online and looked at this online and eventually it retired and I saw it in a special type of a flash sale that one of my consultants offered. I don't know exactly how they did that, but there were retired warmers in it and I wanted this, so I got it. And except for the fact that it's not a knockout performer, love it. And you know, if you guys see my decor, this is perfect all year round for me, but it especially is something that I enjoy using in the spring. So that is Peace and Prosperity. Not the best performer, but I love the way it looks and it feels good too. It's just heavy and beautiful. So then after that, I wanted to include a couple of minis for each season because I have a very large collection of mini warmers and I don't really share them with you guys very often. So I have for you just a basic one that I really always enjoy and I have the wrong, I have to pause the video, I have the wrong plug. Okay, I'm back. I had the wrong style of plug so that I couldn't use the plug-in warmers. So the mini warmers 
This is one of my favorites. It's just, I guess you could call it a basic. I use it pretty much all year round, but I thought I'd throw it into the spring category. And this is, I think, called the Spot On. I love the glaze on this. And you know, none of your minis are going to hold more than one cube comfortably. And I put them all over the house. They're in the kitchen. If they're in a place where the dogs can't really knock them over, I'll even put them in the baseboards. And they're just gorgeous. And this one is just such a good, solid performer, and it goes with everything. So then another one that I really like because it is very, very versatile is the beautiful, oh, so beautiful, Perfect Pearl. And I'm not really super excited most of the time about the glass minis because they don't perform as well, but this one's fine. I don't know if it is the shape, exactly what it is that makes this one much better than many of the other minis, and you really can't see on camera, this is totally pearlescent. It is beautiful. And I have thoroughly enjoyed using this in all sorts of spaces in my house. It gives you a lovely warm glow. It's absolutely gorgeous to look at on or off, and it's incredibly versatile. So those are two that I put into my spring group, although I use the minis all the time. So then let's move over into summer. And I have so many warmers for summer that have some sort of nautical theme or they have some sort of a shape to them. I have a really cute one that looks like a sea urchin that if you follow just the regular posts that I do on YouTube at all where I take a picture, you've seen that up on the mantle. And I have a little lighthouse that I switched out over here. I have the little nautical mini. I had to pick just a couple to show you for each season, but probably my favorite of all of my summer themed nautical type warmers is this In the Harbor from the Summer Collection of 2019. Now, I don't see very many people talk about this. It is a solid performer, but it's the elegant and beautiful thing that they did on the outside of this warmer that has me totally in love with it. Look at this. It is the most beautiful sort of North Atlantic harbor scene in beautiful sepia and soft tones. I love this. If you've seen my picture, I have it styled with a lantern on one of my little tables. It's an antique from my husband's side of the family. It's not really valuable, so we keep painting it different colors, but it's sentimental with a plant and everything. And another thing I wanted to share with you guys is styling your warmers. You guys see constantly, if you follow my channel, that I move things around and I usually pair things with a plant and something that has some height. And that's a tip for you if you just kind of plop a warmer somewhere and you're like, you know, it just isn't inspiring or special. Put something in a group of three. That is like the magic number. Something with height, something that has some greenery or maybe has some sparkle, and then your beautiful warmer. And maybe add a couple little extra details like you always see me doing here on the shelf. And some of my arrangements are more successful than others, but hey, I try. And it will help give your warmer more personality. And also if you set it up in a grouping, a stylized grouping, then it really helps to bring people's attention to these beautiful pieces of art that we call sensi warmers. So anyway, that's my little um, inspiration lecture for the day. But this one out of all the warmers I'm gonna show you today, I think is the most artistic. And I really appreciate it. And that is why I have kept it. I almost gave it away a couple times because over the years I've painted different things out here and it didn't go with anything for a long time. Thank God it worked this year. So then another warmer that would be summery. Now we're going to go to some minis. <laughs> this is so cute and I wish that they hadn't just retired it. This warmer, I love this thing. I think it's called the Wash to Shore. Is this not the cutest little stinker you've ever seen? So he's shaped like a sea urchin. And this gives off the most beautiful glow. I would love to have something like this in a full size where they do a seashell and it lights up like this. Oh, wouldn't that be great? So this is one of my absolute favorite mini warmers for the summer. And then another one that is also uh, porcelain, which is currently available, is this one, which I'm totally forgetting. It's like Sea Life or Sea Life Mini. Look at this little guy. And this also, I think, would be really cool if they do a full size that complemented this. I love the print, and it goes with everything that I have out right now, and I'm totally loving it. So those are the ones that are more like seaside summer. Now, I have one that's sort of a transition between sort of summer into fall, 
and usually I go for more of like a rustic sunflowers and maybe even a few chickens and farm type theme as we get closer to August and September. And this, this is the Daisy Lantern. And I love brown. I mean, black and white is good for, for decor and all that, but my house usually needs softer colors. So this is a beauty. And the wall pattern that this throws is one of the absolute best. So let me plug this in. Oh, this warmer. Do you see those daisies? This warmer is large. It illuminates the space beautifully and it has a huge dish. So it's a good performer. I wish that they had kept this in the catalog longer. It was around for several years, but wow, I got this and another one of those cool flash sale things. Oh, I love this warmer and I usually put it into my Florida room with a bunch of plants and things in the late summer, early fall, and it just makes me happy. That's what all of these do, but this one is especially glowy. And this, when we get into like the fall and the winter, the glow is really important. Spring and summer, and you know, summer you have so much daylight that you can get away with a solid warmer like that in the harbor that's got a few pinpricks, but you need light, you need warmth, you need glow as the weather gets cooler and we get uh, less daylight. And this one totally delivers for that late summer, early fall, one of my absolute favorites. So then one that I'm realizing I missed that doesn't really categorize terribly well, it's here on the table, is, I think it's called Gilded. And this one, I don't know, I've used it all different seasons. Probably summer would be the one I would use it the least. It's sort of a classic, and it's on the smaller side, but it is such a beauty, and I hope it's got a bulb. Oh crud, it doesn't have a bulb. What do I need in here? This is real life, guys. This needs a 20. Do I have a 20 on the table? I don't know. What do we got in here? Oh, I think I have a 20 in this one. Yep. Okay, let's see. Ah, there we go. All right, so this is one of my favorites. Again, many of these are retired, and I'm sorry, but these are my personal favorites. The Gilded Warmer. Oh, is this pretty. This is so pretty with white pumpkins in the fall. It's so pretty with frosted Christmas decorations. It's beautiful. It could be beautiful with seashells, I guess. I just usually use all my other ones, but oh, I'm not much on like the glitzy, but this one has my heart. I love this warmer. So I would love to see them bring something very similar back. We do have a lot of the tile type warmers, but nothing in this particular color palette right now that I know of. And it's so so this one's pretty like on a candlestick type stand because it is a little bit on the petite side. Okay, so let's move on to another one that doesn't categorize super well that I use either for late summer or it's actually really good with Christmas. Oh, and that is my night sky, which was last August's warmer of the month. And I thought it was kind of odd that they brought it out for August because it really reminds me more of a wintry warmer. But this is so pretty and this one throws beautifully because it's heavy. Oh, and this is gorgeous at night. It doesn't really throw a distinct pattern, but it's got a nice glow on the wall with sort of a speckliness. Oh, it's gorgeous. So they have a lot of others like this. There's one that's I think called Flaunt Your Feathers that's all green and uh, blue peacock feathers and this shape is so nice when you're talking about these mosaic inlays but I love the neutral ones and this was great at Christmas time in the basement with all of my sort of like green and uh, white and black and white check I did that in the basement last year for like a country Christmas it was beautiful so after that let's get into some of my fall which the daisy lantern kind of falls into that category and i'm going to save my very favorite warmer for last let me know in the comments before i reveal the last warmer what you think my very favorite scentsy warmer is so i think we'll go to the fall minis and these are wonderful i have a lot a lot of minis for the fall so probably my favorite is another one that's retired and I'm so sorry that so many of these are retired but 
you know, it's just the way it is. Is ooh my old Aspen. I love this. In my particular house, this is just you could leave this thing out all year if I didn't have so many. I love the soft glow on this penny warmer, and it throws a really pretty pattern on the wall. It's made out of that sort of uh, weird plastic in the middle, and some people say that those don't throw well. I've actually found this is one of my best mini warmers for performance, so I can't say enough good about this. I think it was available for a while in clearance. I think it's gone now. Absolutely gorgeous. If they bring something else like this back, I would highly recommend it. So then another one that I got in one of the Harvest collections in the last couple of years. Such a beautiful mini warmer. Oh man. This is the Gilded Leaves. And I think you're probably kind of seeing a pattern for the things that I prefer. I love this. This is even sitting out usually right now. I took it off of its stand in the basement on a, a little cord concealing mini stand setup. Because these, these minis, you don't have to just plug them in. You can get the little tabletop base and then you can set them up on something somewhere other than right up against the wall in a baseboard or a kitchen situation. I love anything with leaves, anything gilded, anything uh, just soft and romantic for fall. And then another one, which I do not have the full size of, but I love the mini, is the adorable Lumina. This is the only one that I have that's got this little peekaboo cutout. It's kind of a pain, but this is so cute. Look at the texture on this. This is one of my favorites for fall. Absolutely gorgeous. And then another one, which I don't know, is this fall warmer? Is it a summer warmer? Is it a spring warmer? I don't know, but it's a mini that I love. Is one that is currently available, and I got it recently. That is the Gatsby. This is so dramatic, and because I have a lot of walls that are green, it's beautiful. So it's sort of pearlescent, and it's definitely like 1930s Art Deco, that's why it's Gatsby for the Great Gatsby. Gorgeous warmer. So that one makes me very happy. And I have just a couple left, so I'm going to do one where I have the mother and the baby, so to speak, for winter time, or fall into winter time. And that is the retired Aspen Grove. Love this. This one is so stylish and they kept it for many, many years. So let me put this one in to the plug. There we go. This one lights up through the bisque. They don't do these anymore. This combination of, let me turn this off actually. Look at this. I love the glow on this one. It is so pretty. I never get tired of it. And it comes in a mini, which I will show you next. Oh, absolutely love this warmer. It was inexpensive when they used to sell it, and I've just never gotten tired of mine. So then, I think that the baby was available longer than the large one. And this one is just total dead ringer. Are they not cute? I love these. So usually I put these out in the wintertime, but you could use this in the fall. You could use it into the early spring. And they are just economical, classy, and classic. So now we get to my favorite warmer of all time. I need to get my light bulb back. So that's a clue. It's a 20 watt. And it is spectacular. And it's a fall warmer. So I think you can probably tell what I'm going to show you. Handling all these different warmers is always such a challenge. Ho, 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 ho. So, and I'm not alone. I know that this is many Scentsy Consultants' favorite warmer of all time. And that is the Enchanted Pumpkin. And I will turn the light off for this one too. <sighs> Guys, this warmer is the most beautiful thing. And mine has a little bit of a crookedness with the, the rim. I tried to get a new one, they won't just sell you that. But <sighs> this is the nicest, most beautiful, most spectacular, most gorgeous, most glitzy thing I think since he's ever invented. And it is one of my absolute favorites. And I hope that you guys have a really wonderful collection yourself. This looks great with my sailboat, I know, but 
a really good collection yourself or that you're building one of these wonderful pieces that we call Scentsy Warmers that totally light up your home, bring joy to your life, and they're just one of those things that is a pure pleasure. So let me know what your favorite warmers are or ones that you had get away from you at a flash sale or that you've never seen that you really, really would like to. Have a good day. Be blessed. Bye-bye.